Right you guys, got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Farbar's Recovery Scan Tool. It's a free tool that you can use to remove infections from a computer, even if it's non-booting. So let's have a look at the actual program itself. You can get it from this website here called bleepingcomputer.com. It's a free tool to use and it works with Windows XP, Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8, 32-bit and 64-bit versions. We need to do is download which version you need. I would advise you to download both if you're a technician and keep them on your thumb drive. Now this works in a recovery environment in Windows Vista and Windows 7 and what this allows us to do is boot into our recovery environment and remove an infection from there with this type of tool. And we're going to be showing you how to do that in this video. It's pretty straightforward. So I've already got mine downloaded. Now you don't want to be running this from your desktop. As I said, you want to be running this from a pen drive in a recovery uh, environment from the command prompt. So if I look into computer here, you'll see I've got a pen drive here. And there you can see I've got my two programs. Now you don't need to have both of them on the pen. You can have one or two. It's up to you. Now the first one, obviously, the frst.exe, that's the 32-bit version. And that's the bit we're going to be using because I'm on a Windows 7 32-bit machine. Now this is an infected machine and uh, supposedly it's not booting and uh, we're going to be going into recovery. Now you don't even have to use the actual repair your computer function in advanced boot options. You can also use a Windows CD and go into repair your computer from there. So I'm going to try the first method. I'm going to restart the machine. Okay, so we're in the advanced boot options. I was tapping F8 on the keyboard on boot up and this has now allowed us to get into repair your computer. Again, you can access this from a Windows 7 or Windows Vista CD and go into repair your computer from there. If you don't know how to do that, you can find all that information out on my forum. Okay, so what we want to do here is go next. Now if you've got a password you have to put it in. I don't have one, so I'm going to click OK. And then from here, I want to go into Command Prompt. Okay, so what I want to do now is try and find my pen drive. So it was in F on my machine, so I'll try F and see if I can find it. And there it is. So now we've gone into F drive and we can now see our program. So from here we can now run our program from our USB thumb drive. So what I want to do here is type frst.exe and this is going to allow me to run the program. Okay, so I'm going to leave all the ticks inside the whitelist here. You've got the registry, services, drivers, known DLLs, drivers MD5, and also list files and folders. We're just going to do a scan on this. So click on scan. Okay, so that's the scan now finished. And as you can see, it's left an frst.txt file and it's put that in the location where the tool is running from. Now in this case it's been running from my pen drive so it's going to be on my uh, F uh, root directory of my thumb drive. So let's click OK here and I'm just going to put this down here for a second. Now if I go to Windows change directory to my C drive And then from there, what we can do is see if I'm in my Windows directory, which I am. So now I can actually change directory to Windows and System32. Would help if I type that right. And then we're in Windows System32. Now I'm going to type Notepad. Would help if I spelt that right. There we go. And once we type Notepad up, what we can do here is go to File open and then from here we can actually go to computer 
and then we can see our thumb drive here now so we can access our thumb drive and now I can access this FRST file now as you can see there's a lot of text inside here so I'm going to go this on full screen here so we can see what we're doing and you can see there's a lot of useful information there's services that have been whitelisted registry and so on but what we're interested in is the files that have been modified so one month uh, created files and folders you can access this and have a look and see what's been modified on the system and this is a good way of rooting out infections on the system and again three months modified files and as you can see here it's now picked up we've got zero access on the system and you can see it's uh, listed all these files right here so if we come down now we can actually see there's also an infection here on the services.exe file and it's saying attention and it's pointing us to zero access so we know that's infected as well so we're going to deal with these issues with this program and it should be able to deal with these quite easily it's showing you more information here as you can see partitions now sometimes zero access creates little hidden partitions and you can use this tool to sort of uh, remove those types of uh, partitions from here as well they all seem to be okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our window here to type notepad and this is going to open up another notepad window now if you did file a new what's going to happen is it will close this one down so we want to have two open so the next thing I want to do here is snap that into side into the side there and snap that one so now we've got both of them together and then from there what I want to do is copy this file here or this um, actual text and the reason why is because that's the folder if you look at them they're all the same number and what I'm going to do here is copy this line here I'm going to put start and I'm going to paste that in there now that should delete all of these in one fell swoop because that's the main folder the main directory the next one I want to do is this one here if you look they're all the same folder and what we're going to do here is copy this one and uh, what we want to do is just put that at the end it's a bit fiddly but once you've got it it's okay okay so that's that one done now we've got just one more here and this is this one at the bottom again we're going to come over here and just stick that in there now for the services we're going to need to do something else so I'm just going to put these down here for a second you may be saying to yourself why didn't I do the services part just a minute ago and the reason for that is because um, I didn't know zero access was on there and I did know it was on there but you might not know it's on there so you're obviously not going to do it in that sort of manner you'd have to find out what's on the system first so what I need to do here is I've got mine running here but I want to make sure that I'm running inside my folder so I'm just going to close this off and go back to my F drive and then type F and I'm going to type uh, frst.exe I'm going to run this from my F drive again and what we need to do here now is type in services exe and we can now scan for this services.exe so I'm going to search for that and as you can see it's now search complete the search.txt is saved in the same directory as your frst in that case it's in the same place as the program so I'm going to click OK here and again what I want to do is just going to drop this down here I'm going to change back to my uh, notepad here 
because I want to open up that other file so what we need to do same thing is going to change this to my C drive and if you push your cursor key you should be able to go through these and come back to change directory windows system 32 and this is now put us in there back into notepad I'm going to open this up and again you can now see there's a search text file there and this is what we want we're going to open this up and you can see now that it's give us a list of stuff here so what I want to do is I want to copy this top line here like so go back to our other file which what we was creating to repair going to type replace and then that at the top there and then go space and then C colon backslash windows system 32 and then services dot exe and then we're going to type end and what that's going to do is now let's go on full screen here this is going to run and fix all these issues and remove them from the system so what we want to do is going to save this as fixed list text file dot text and we're going to save it in our pen drive okay so now what we can do is go back to our pen drive I'm going to change to my pen drive and then I'm going to open up frst.exe and then what I'm going to do here is click on the fix button now because we're in our directory what it's going to do is going to look for the file called fixlist.txt and it's going to fix those issues and it's now put a fix log in there again so now we can see what's happened so we can go back to that location I know it's a lot of chopping and changing but this is how this program works so basically what we want to do now is go back in there and have a look at these files so we've now finished with Farbar's recovery scan tool so what we want to do here is go back to our note, notepad just uh, change that straight in like that notepad open this up and there you can see the fix log we can have a look at the fix log now I'm going to go full screen here so you can see it and you can see it successfully moved all these off the system and put them into a safe folder and we can delete that afterwards and as you can see here it's now successfully uh, replaced the services file so this is all good so we now know that system is now clean but what we'll do is we'll just do another scan just to make sure and I'll show you how to do that we're just going to go straight back to our tool now change back to our F drive and uh, we can do another scan on the system okay that's now finished its scan it 
it's actually overwritten that other one and I'm just going to go to notepad and hopefully it's overwritten the old one if it hasn't then we can always boot into uh, the actual normal mode and as you can see it has overwritten it and you can see now it's all clean zero access is now missing off the scan so that means it's got re got rid of that uh, infection which is all good and you can see the services.exe is now a legit file so it's now replaced that file with a proper file and that's how you remove that. So let's reboot the system now. So I'm going to exit out of this. So I'm going to close this off and restart the system. And what I'd advise you to do is run some other scans just to make sure there was no remnants left behind on the system. And you can do that using Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes, and also TDSS Killer programs like that to make sure there's nothing left on the system. But as you can see, that's a very effective tool, uh, Fireball's recovery scan tool. And as you can see, it's come up pretty clean so far. There'll probably be some cookies and stuff like that left behind on the system. I'm not going to go through the whole scanning process. Okay, so that's the scan complete. We have no threats found. All clean, as you can see. Just remove these cookies if you wish. But pretty much I'd run through all these just to make sure there was nothing left on the system. And that's pretty much it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's a really useful tool, and uh, thanks to uh, Farbar for making it for us, and uh, thanks to everyone for watching. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support by rating and favourite my videos. And also, I'll be making more videos again in the future. So thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.